Did I, did I tell you for a test today? There will be test of Arnav. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, did I announce for test? The, uh, there will be test. Uh, yes, sir, you said you know the topic, and then you said there will be thirty minute test. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Is the screen shared to you? Not yet, right? Yes, sir, it is. Okay, it is. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm going to uh, start a new topic. Then I will give you five questions, five to six questions. Okay, sir. Okay, is there any doubt in limiting reagent? What is limiting reagent? The reactant which limits the product is called a limiting reagent, right? So, a topic reactions in solutions. Reactions in solution. So, as you know, that do you know how solution is formed? When a solute is added to a solvent, then a solution is formed, right? There is an entire chapter on solution in yes. class 12th. So the first questions in our mind is that how do we recognize whether which one of the uh, which one of a, um, which one is solute and which one is solvent. So basically solute is the one which is lesser in quantity lesser in quantity and solvent is the one which is greater in quantity greater in quantity so this is the criteria to recognize whether which one is solute and which one is solvent if you are going to add sugar in water you know which one is solute and which one is solvent and the solution formed is known as sugar solution okay so you know that this is solute and this is solvent is that clear? <clears throat> yes, sir. So please write it. And now we are going to introduce, uh, I'm going to introduce concentration term, basically how we are going to uh, specify uh, weight by weight percent, weight by volume percent, volume by volume percent, and then mole fraction, and then normality, molarity, molality. These all concentration term that uh, I'm going to cover in class 11th, which will be a study in class 12th as well in this chapter solution. So please write it and let me know if you are done with this. Are you done with this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see, there are concentration terms. So, I'm going to write the concentration terms list first. So, concentration term is basically weight by weight percent. The second one is, the second one is weight by volume percent. Volume by volume percent. Mole fraction. molarity which is very important molality 
this is the basic of chemistry and of 11th and then normality right all this concentration name of the concentration term then i am going to explain one by one <clears throat> with questions and formulas <clears throat> Please let me know when you are done with this. Okay, now going to start. Okay, if I'm telling you a question from this, this point, uh, mass of solvent is 90 gram, mass of solution is 100 gram. Can you tell me the mass of solute? <clears throat> Can you tell me the mass of solute? So 10 gram. 10 gram. How you just calculated mass of solute? Mass of, sol uh, mass of solute is X. This is 90 is equal to 100. So X is equal to 10 gram. That's good. Very good. So now going to start the first concentration term. That is weight by weight percent. Whenever <coughs> there will be a question like 5% weight by weight. What does it mean? This a small word is a whole sentence in its own. Now you can see that 5% weight by weight means, first of all, this numerator represents solute and this denominator represents solution for solution. So if you are going to in, uh, expand this in a sentence, this means five grams since weight is, uh, there is weight. So it is five gram of solute present in 100 gram of solution since it is percent that means in 100 so it is present in 100 gram of solution are you getting my point or no yes sir now see this is mass of solute. Is the, if, if the name of solute is given, we can easily calculate number of moles. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And if mass of solute is given and mass of solution is given, you can also calculate mass of solvent. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So if I'm going to ask you if there is a uh, <clears throat> like this 7% weight by weight, what you can obtain from this. Please write a sentence about it like the way I did. And then tell me the mass of solvent also. Can you tell me the sentence? So I'm writing the principle. Okay.
this will be seven gram of solute. So you can write seven gram of solute present in hundred gram of present in hundred gram of solution. This is very important when it will be used in a bigger question numerical. It will be very important to know solution the concept side, of solution. Solution. And can you tell tell me the mass of solvent with the uh, with this information? Mass of solvent, please calculate it and let me know. So ninety three gram. Ninety three gram. Very good. Ninety three gram mass of solvent. Very good. <clears throat> now I am going to give you the formula for this. So basically, weight by weight percent has a formula. That means weight of solute. Upon weight of solution in two hundred, in two hundred. This is the formula for weight by weight percent. And there is a question: If ten gram of A mixed with hundred gram of B, hundred gram of B, calculate. Weight by weight percent. Please do this. Calculate weight by weight percent. So weight by weight percent of A or B. We, this is only for a weight by weight percent. We generally calculate for solute, not solvent, not solvent. Okay. Okay, sir. This is the formula for weight by weight percent. You can look at it. Yes, sir. So nine point zero nine percent. Nine percent. Nine point zero nine. Very good. So weight by weight percent is equal to weight of solute. Mass of solute is ten gram, and weight of solution. This is solute, and this is solvent. So this is basically solvent, and this is solute. So after adding it, we will get this much, and multiplied nine point something percent. Right. Yes, sir. Is that clear? No. Yes, sir. So this is about weight by weight percent. Now, the second is weight by volume percent. So whenever there is a question on weight by volume percent, this will uh, this weight by weight percent, weight by volume percent, volume by volume percent will be used in molarity, molality, normality, and mole fraction. So, if you have ten percent weight by volume, that means ten gram. Since it is weight, ten gram, and in numerator it is solute, ten gram of solute present in hundred and volume is hundred ml of solute, hundred ml of solution. Since this is volume, for volume we use ml, and for mass it we will use gram. And we can have a formula: weight by volume percent is equal to weight of solute, weight of solute upon volume of solution, volume of solution into hundred, into hundred. This is the formula for weight by volume. So I am going to ask you a question: five percent weight by volume of a solution of For five percent weight by volume, NaOH present in a solution. Present in a solution of density of vitamin. I'm going. 
in a solution <clears throat> the density of solution is One point two five gram per ml. Calculate weight by weight, weight by weight first. Can you calculate it? So I can't do this. Okay, no problem. I will help you. See how it is, how easy it is. <clears throat> what it is asked, <clears throat> what we need to calculate is weight by weight percent, right? <clears throat> weight by weight percent has a formula. Weight of solute upon weight of solution, right? In 200, this is the formula. And what is given? It is given that 5% weight by volume. And what does this mean? What does this mean? This means 5 gram of solute present in, present in, present in 100 ml of solution. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, sir. Now you can see what we need to, what we need is weight of solute. This is the weight of solute. And in denominator, weight of solution is required. But we have mass of solution with density of solution, which is 1.25 gram per ml. This is the density of solution. This is mass of solution. Density of solution is equal to mass of solution upon volume of solution. And we need weight of solution or mass of solution. So mass of solution will be equal to density into volume. Density is 1.25 and volume is 100 ml. So when you will multiply, you will get 125 gram mass of solution. You got it or not? Yes, sir. Oh, enough. So mass of solute is 5 gram from here. And mass of solution you can get with the help of density and volume. That is 125 into 100. And now you can calculate it. 25 4 is 100, 25 5 is 100. So it will be 4% weight by weight. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So please write it.
<clears throat> Let me know when you are done with this. Are you done with this? Just a minute, sir. Okay, take your time, no problem. Then, <clears throat> very good. I'm going to give you another question on the same. Ten percent weight by weight solute present in a solution. Calculate weight by volume percent. If density of solution is, if density of solution is one gram per inch, <clears throat> you can relate this with the previous one and easily you can easily solve. <clears throat> Can you solve it, Arnav? Solving. Okay. Take your time. Let me know when you are finished. So 10%? 10%. Very good. Uh, you can see this is 10% weight by weight. That means 10 gram of solute in 100 gram of solute. Now we need to calculate weight by volume percent, which has a formula. Weight of solute upon weight of solution. In 200, 
weight of solute is basically this is given as 10 gram and weight of solution <coughs> wait a minute we need to calculate weight or uh, weight by volume person so there is <coughs> volume of solution right yes or no or no yes sir yes sir now you can see here mass of solution is given and density of solution is given but we need volume of solution so density is equal to mass upon volume so volume is equal to mass upon density mass is 100 gram and density is 1 gram per ml now you can see gram gram cancel so it will be 100 ml so going to put the value 100 into 100 so it will be 10 percent very good okay is that clear yes sir now uh, then it is paper start uh, you uh, are you joined in a uh, group on whatsapp coaching group uh, no sir okay so uh, you are going to uh, solve this question in a separate paper then take a photo or make a pdf send it to the coaching okay okay sir. okay so i'm going to just take the question uh, question number one two three calculate just do it uh, in neat and clean. I'm here and uh, I will give you five questions only. So do, do this. Three questions. Oops.
Adnav, are you done with this three question? Uh, just a minute, sir. Last question I'm doing. Sir, I didn't get the second question. What's Haber's process? Haber's process is basically a process uh, to form or manufacture ammonia. Basically, this reaction N2 plus 3H2 will give 2 NH3. Uh -huh. You learn about it in class 11. So, this is the reaction. So can you go a little up? Just need to check my answers. Uh, what you just said? So just yes. No. Are you done with this? Yes, I just check my answer. One minute. Okay, and you have to do this question too. Question number seven. Okay, sir. Can you go a little up in this equation? Just check my answer. Okay, you uh, check my answer. What is your answer for second, third? So second, actually, I... uh, uh, I know, uh, actually, you will submit it to the coaching's contact no, sir, number. Sorry. Then I will be checking it. myself. Okay, okay, then check yours. Let me know if you are done with these three questions.
dan dan uh, all four or one only one two three sir three uh, seventh question I can't see for you okay see this yes Done, sir. Uh, please submit it to the uh, contact of coach.